Welcome to Pacific Rim Quilt Company. I am Connie Saylor and I would like to share with you the process of preparing your fabric for two fabric applique. The two fabric applique are the 24 by 36 patterns that we carry that use two high contrasting fabrics. Behind me you will see the iris pattern and we have my first sewing machine and dragonflies in flight. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna use the dragonfly pattern to show you the process of preparing your fabric and your project to do it by either needle turn applique or by machine with fusible. So the first step is take a look at your pattern. Your pattern has A's for applique B is for background, and your applique fabric on the two fabric applique, which is your top fabric, is always the fabric with the border. So in this case, it's the darker blue, the darker blue, the navy, and this darker batik. But you can do lighter fabrics on top as well. But what you will do for the needle turn applique, which is the first process I'm gonna talk about, is you will take a look at your pattern. You will trace the solid line onto your top fabric. And to do this, you will either put your fabric on a light box or a window, tape the pattern up, and then you will lay your fabric, put your fabric over the top, and then you will see those solid lines through the fabric, and then you will trace with your favorite kind of marker. Um, uh, if I'm doing the two fabric applique, doing needle turn, I usually use a fine point Sharpie to mark my cutting lines. And if your fabric is dark, you will not be able to see the pattern through the fabric. So what you will do is you will lay out your fabric. You will take a piece of chalk tracing paper, which we have pattern transfer paper, we call it. You will lay that on top of the fabric. And then you will lay your fabric on top and you will trace along all those solid lines and that will put the pattern onto that darker fabric. And after I have done that, after I have it traced on, I like to go over it with a, I like the clover chalk pencils, I'll go over it with the chalk pencil to make sure it doesn't brush off while I'm basting or cutting because you don't want to lose those lines. So at that point, you will lay your fabric on top of your background fabric. In this case, it's the lighter one. You lay that on top, and then you will look at your pattern, and you will pin all the A pieces in place. The A are your applique pieces. So what I usually do is I'll look at the pattern and I put in a pin everywhere I see an A. So I will pin your background, the dragonfly leaves, the dragonfly body. Those are pinned to the background fabric. So once I have those pinned in place, then it makes it much easier for me to do a needle based all around on those applique pieces only. I don't needle base where there are bees because that's the background. I just needle based where I have the pins and I do that about half an inch in. So when I'm doing my needle turn, it doesn't interfere with the turn under. So on this one, you can see the needle basting. I've got it all all those applique pieces are basted in place. So then the next step is you will lift up that top layer of fabric and take a little snip and then you cut 
along all those lines you traced. You just cut along every line. And since you did not base the background pieces in place, you simply remove those and then you are left with a project that is ready to go. So this is all ready to do your needle turn applique. You don't have multiple pieces that you need to place and it is ready to go. And on this one, you will see that I began the needle turn applique up in the upper corner here and the dragonfly head right in that corner. You can see I've begun the needle turn applique and along this edge right here, that's when you turn the needle turn under both edges, you get that nice line. So like this was a single cut and then when you turn under on either side and typical turn under that we plan for on these is about 3 sixteenths of an inch. So a scant quarter of an inch. And they are really fun. You only need a single color of applique thread, your needle and snippers. You can put them in a purse, put them in a bag, travel with them. Um, I always travel with a couple different projects ready to go that I can work on at any point in time. So that is the process for needle turn. So the next step is for those of you who like to applique by machine, your pattern is just exactly the same, but you will trace the dotted line onto your top fabric. And you will see that here. So you'll trace that onto your top fabric and you will use the same process that we did earlier for the needle turn. So this is a piece that the fusible, first I iron on the fusible web onto the back of my applique fabric. Then I lay out my fabric. Again, I will lay my pattern transfer paper on top if I can't see through it. Pattern on top. Trace all those dotted lines onto that top fabric. And all of this is written in the instructions that will come with every pattern which makes it super easy, but for those of us that are visual, it's nice to be able to see the process. So once you have traced the pattern on, you can see that I've traced on all the dotted lines onto this fabric. I used a clover chalk pencil, which works really well. Then the next thing is you will lay out your background fabric, peel off the paper, lay it on top and then you will also you'll pin all your applique pieces in place to that background you'll pin those applique pieces down then you will lift up under there lift that top layer of fabric snip and then cut along every line you traced and since you've pinned down all the applique pieces they stay in place and all the background pieces will come away. So you cut along all those lines that you drew. And this is what you will end up with. See those pieces are all pinned. The applique pieces are pinned in place. The background pieces have all come away. And then you'll take this over to the ironing board. And at this point is when you fuse these two layers together, your background fabric and your top fabric. And then what I do is I usually start at one end and then I gradually remove the pins as I move down. Um, I like Steema Seam Too Light. That's the fusible I have and I use, but use your, your favorite fusible. And it's a very easy process and then you will just use whatever stitch you'd like to do, satin stitch, blanket stitch, um, loose zigzag, you know, that's, that's up to you on that. And it makes for a really fun project either way. 
whichever method you choose. And I hope this answers your questions. I do have a DVD that teaches you the process of the needle turn applique. And this is a DVD with Nancy Lee Chong, who taught me and it's a wonderful DVD and it walks you through the needle turn applique process. This does not teach you to do it by machine with fusible. But, and this also teaches you the needle turn applique, which is absolutely, hands down, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> it is relaxing, it's fun. Um, and I'd like to share, I have a couple new patterns that I have just released and I'd like to share them with you. I'm really excited about our new octopus. And here he is. And this is with a, a graduated fabric. But he's, he's pretty fun. So that is our newest two fabric applique. And our newest Hawaiian quilt is the dogwood. And this is a three color Hawaiian quilt. This is a little departure from the typical, um, the typical or traditional Hawaiian quilts, but it's still the same process. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation and visit us at pacificrimquilt.com. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram. And we have notions and fabrics and kits online. And I hope to hear from you and I look forward to working with you. Take care and enjoy and stay safe. Bye.